Now, you can think of this in terms of electrons if you want, but it's actually easier to understand what undergoes oxidation and reduction if you draw in the oxidation numbers and then go from there. So hydrogen's plus one in a compound, unless it's with metal when it's minus one. Oxygen's minus two in a compound. And filling in the rest, you can see that this is a redox equation because the oxidation numbers have changed from the reactants to products. So let's go from chromium, which is plus six, all the way to chromium, which is plus three. The oxidation number has been reduced. It's gone down, so that's called reduction. And nitrogen, the oxidation number has gone up, so that's called oxidation. Now that's easier than thinking about it in terms of oil and rig. Again, write in the oxidation numbers. Now, which ones have changed? Manganese has gone from 7 to 2, so it's been reduced, the number. It's gone down, so that is reduction. It's gained electrons. Which one has gone up? Well, chloride has turned to chlorine, and so the oxidation number's increased. Oxidation is loss of electrons. So chloride has undergone oxidation. Finally, let's look at titanium and nitric acid. Now you can see that some oxidation numbers don't change, so we don't worry about those. We just look, look at the ones that do change. So titanium has undergone oxidation, it's lost electrons. Oxidation number's gone up. And hydrogen has gained electrons. The oxidation number's gone down. It's a little confusing, but I think you'll get it.